Good morning. It is March 15th. Out here in no man's land. 9.13 a.m. And I apologize ahead of, ahead of time for the dog barking in the background, but... It is extremely warm. So I have to have the windows open to be able to survive. We're just going to do our morning checks here. 99% on that bunker silo, 54% here, so that other bunker silo will be able to sell that silage today, I believe. 113 wool, 113 liters of wool here for our sheep. Sheep are doing good on food, I think. I think they were doing alright. Yeah, they're, they're still good. <clears throat> Chickens, still doing good on food. 152 pieces, this will be the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this one a little less, 74 pieces here for eggs. Let's go check the greenhouses, and then we can get started for the day. Um, I think first thing I want to do is dump the chaff in the forage wagon. So that way we can prepare to pick up the silage. We got 277 liters of honey here. Uh, 270 liters of tomatoes here. 395 liters of strawberries. 159 liters of lettuce. And things are looking good. We've got 9,000 liters of chaff in this thing, so we're gonna have to dump that somewhere. And the new, uh, like, grape olive pack thing came out. So there's a lot of neat new neat little things. I don't know if there's anything in trailers. I didn't really check everything, but it doesn't look like there's much in the way of trailers. I think it was mostly just tractors, honestly. I don't think they released any medium tractors. Yeah, it doesn't look like they released any medium tractors of any kind. I think it was all just small ones. Yeah, it doesn't look like they have anything new in these at all. Well, I don't know why there would be anything in, in here. But there are a bunch of new small tractors. Let's see. Let's check them out. So we got the Super... Super Tigre. Tigre! 635. So 35 horsepower little thing. I guess it's good for vineyards and orchards. Um, I don't know what it can pull in vineyards and orchards. Uh, maybe the mulcher? No, I can't even pull the mulcher. Uh, probably not the subsoiler either, yeah. I don't know what it's good for. Maybe this thing? Possibly this? I would, I would say probably this. Um, but that's about it. Uh, maybe, maybe these. Perhaps these. Definitely not that. These would be too heavy for it. Uh, oh, forgot. There's, there's more than just that. Uh, so we got that little guy. Uh, this little, this little one here, the Tiger Car. Um, little 19 horsepower thing. You can kind of have it carry. Uh, looks like maybe pallets and. Uh, you know, a little 800 and, what is it, 890 liters of something in there. So that's kind of a neat little, neat little thing. They're all, they're all pretty inexpensive too, which is kind of nice. Um, I would love to find a reason to buy this thing. I love this little thing. Anywho, uh, let's get, let's get back to it. So we need to dump that, dump that chaff somewhere. We're gonna do that right. Whoop. We're gonna do that right now. So that way we're prepared for when the silage is ready to go. But we still have a bunch of logs to sell today, as well as the silage. So we probably won't be able to sell all the logs today because we definitely want to sell the silage off. Uh, but I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna just we're just gonna dump this. Just right here. 
I'm gonna just drive forward a bit so that way it's not all in just one giant pile. As best as we can. There we go. It's still in one big pile. But whatever. That's fine. Figure that out later. Still got the rest of the day ahead of us here, so. And we're just gonna position this right here, ready to go. As soon as we can. And I think the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna load up. Oh, sorry about that. Lawnmower. Did not mean to do that. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, load up three more logs. Go sell them. Come back. See if that. See if that silage is ready. Because we still have to wait, even once it hits 100%, still gotta wait a little bit of time, an hour or two, before it's fully ready to go. So, yeah. I think today is gonna be kind of a market day, we're just gonna be selling things. Uh, we may we may get to cutting down some more, the, the, the two last trees that we got here. But, no promises on that yet. And, yeah, so, we did, we, we caught up there. Uh, this is, this is kind of more talk about the, the channel and, you know, trying to, trying to keep up on the re releasing of the days, the daily schedule of releasing. We caught up there for a little bit and then fell behind almost immediately again. Um, just work and other life events happening that just kind of, kind of get in the way of the release schedule. But, I... That takes precedent over this, so, um, yeah. Working full-time and dealing with, uh, regular life events and stuff kind of takes precedent over doing these, uh, these videos. We'll eventually catch up. Or we won't. I don't know. <laughs> Who knows what'll happen in the future. Definitely try to catch up. So let's get these logs loaded up here. Um, try to get the bigger ones first. Uh, is that all? It's all cut and ready to go. Okay. It almost didn't look like it was it was even cut into pieces yet. barking right now. Everybody's getting home from work and stuff like that, so people be walking outside. Dogs don't take kindly to people walking around their neighborhoods. It's okay, my dog does it too. I think she's actually at the windows right now. Yeah. She's over there staring out there like, oh, they're barking. I want to go do that too. That's my favorite pastime. Actually, I don't know where she is. She's laying down somewhere. She's not at the windows, surprisingly. Enough. Let's just get these loaded on up and sold today. We actually got quite a bit of money already. We're approaching 40,000 here. We're definitely going to hit that today. Maybe even 50,000 today. We'll see. Still don't really know what we're going to do with that money yet. Um, trying to figure that out as we go. I don't want to really plow and plant anything else right now. Um, but I definitely would like to kind of reinvest this money into something that will both require our time and attention as well as make us some money on the, on the side. I was thinking about maybe setting up at least one solar panel. Uh, it's not a lot of money. It's, it says, you know, 900 something a month. I, I think it's like 963 a month. But that's kind of misleading since any sort of day where there's clouds or whatever, you're not going to make as much. Clouds or rain or snow, anything like that, you're obviously not going to make 
that much, if any, off of a solar panel. Yeah, kind of keeping, kind of keeping the loads light for these wood, this wood here, because this this tractor is a lot more top heavy than our uh, the old the old beer that we got rid of for this one, and it just it's more prone to flipping. So kind of keeping the loads light on these on these uh, logs here. But I'm going to get these to the shop, and I'll bring you back then to sell them, and we'll see what we get off of this load. See you there. All right, we are here. So let's go ahead and un unstrap all the logs, see what we're bringing in. $3,933. Great. Looks good. All right, let's get back to the homestead. We will check on the... I forgot to load that little piece of wood back on there again. Um, we'll check the, the bunker silo, and yeah, we'll just adjust depending on if it's ready or not. I'll see you back there. All right, we're back. Let's see if the silage is ready to go yet. Not quite yet. Almost there. Uh, probably another hour. Well, maybe another ten minutes, actually. Let's, let's just wait here for a minute. No, let's not. That's, that takes a lot more time than I, I'm thinking. Um, we can load up another load of logs, and then check to see where it's at then. If it's ready to go or not. Alright, so we're just going to do the same thing. We'll load up another six logs. And go and sell them. Well, first we're going to check the First, we're going to check the silage, and if that's ready to go, then we're going to sell that. So I think we might be, might be able to get a little bit, a little bit more for that. I'm not, not really sure. Um, it's not really the right season for selling it. Uh, we're about a month off from being in the right season to sell the silage, but it's still worth a bit of money. So. It's just going to be one of those things that we kind of just rotate constantly. Uh, whenever there's grass to be cut, then there is going to be silage to be made. We try to basically make make our land work for us as much as possible while we work the land. There's one more. Just gotta keep loading these up and getting them sold. Pretty, uh, pretty interested in finding out where this is going to end up at the end of the year. And it's gonna be a little hectic uh, trying to do any sort of recording and and editing. Recording for me will probably be easy, but for my lovely and amazing editor, it's going to be a bit harder for her here coming up soon, so. We ask that everybody just kind of be patient with us while we're dealing with real life things. But I'm definitely not stopping. This is a good time. It's nice and relaxing playing this game after a, after a day's work. Being able to sit down and do this is just very therapeutic for me. Even if the logs act silly sometimes. <laughs> it's doing good here. 
few more. One more after this one, and we're ready to go. Just kind of straighten it out a little bit. And drop it on down onto the pile. There we go. Nice little pyramid formation there. like triangle formation. Okay. There, oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, I lost one. Yeah, even when it's doing that, I'm relaxed, I swear. Let's get you back up there. I uh, even fell down. I think the bottom portion of my log forks were kind of pushed it off the side. So let's open it back up. Let's just drop it, drop it in there. Hopefully it stays put. Yeah, there we go. Strap those down. I know I could probably put more on there, but again, since this thing is just so kind of not unstable, but not... Yeah, it's not stable. Like, the stability of it's not very good. See how it kind of, like, flops around like that? Yeah. You take a turn too wide, and or too too sharply, I mean. And it'll go flying all over the place. Looks like wind has been kicking up here. Let's see. Uh, still not ready. I, Yeah, still not ready. So... Might be ready when we get back, but I'm going to head to the shop and bring you back when we're ready to sell, let you know how much we make, and we'll head back here, see if the silage is ready to go. And if so, we're going to start offloading some of that. I'll see you there. Alright, we're at the shop, so let's go ahead and once again unstrap the logs, sell them, see what we get. What we got here? 3,020. So we're going a little lower now because the logs are a bit smaller. That's okay. We still have two more trees to sell, too. So we're definitely going to go over 50,000. The silage probably going to hit 60,000 at some point, which is a pretty decent chunk of change and we can do a lot with. So I'm going to head back. We'll check the silage, see if it's ready to go, and continue doing what we're doing. We'll see you back there. Alright, back here at the homestead. Let's see what we're dealing with. If we're ready to sell the silage or not. And not quite yet. Hmm. I don't know, maybe, maybe it'll happen tomorrow. I think I'll be able to uncover it today and maybe pick a load up, but not be able to get to the shop in enough time to sell it. So let's go ahead and load up the uh, another load of logs here. See what we can do with, about that. Oh, puppy. What's the problem? Is everybody outside having fun and you're not? Is that it? over here whining at the door. Probably heard it. Let's see, I think there's what? One, two, three, four, five. I think there's just the right amount of logs left. Oh, there's, there's a real bark. <laughs> oh, the dogs. Alright, so yeah, I think there's I think there's four more after this, so that's kind of the perfect number of logs here that we want to put on the back anyway. So this is looking good. Whoop, wrong way. There we go.
These are a lot thinner too, so we could actually probably load even more on there if we wanted to, if we had any to. crazy there with the log forks. Hang on. Come on now. There we go. Got it. Alright. Just load this up on the other side and go park this thing for the night. This won't need it. Uh, it probably won't need it tomorrow either. Not sure yet. Well, we'll see. And we'll definitely need to put the stump grinder on it instead. Because that's going to be required soon. I like that thunk noise when you lower these all the way. It lets you know it's all the way down. It's as low as it goes. Whoa, whoa. Spinning out. Go ahead and drop the log forks here. We'll attach the log, uh, the stump grinder. I'll have that ready to go tomorrow morning. Let me go and inevitably chop those other trees down. Let's see. Let's check the silage here. Still not ready to go, huh? Well. It'll definitely be ready tomorrow. That's usually how it goes. That chicken looked like it had its head caught in the fence. Alright, strap these down. Get it parked over underneath the awning there. The vehicle shelter, rather. Alright, so... Gonna do our evening checks now of everything. Let's see, can we, nope, still can't. Still can't, uh, still can't uncover the silage here, so we're just gonna go ahead and park this underneath, underneath the machine shelter as well. Uh, if we can, uh, it's not much room in there. I'm gonna have to thread a needle getting this thing in there. Let's see if I can do it. Can I get it in between the fertilizer and the trailer? Probably not. Oh, look at that. Skill that. Ah, nope. Hit it anyway. Never mind. I was going to say skills, but scratch the paint. Oh, well. All right, so evening checks. This thing is ready to go, so tomorrow we're going to be able to uncover it. Uh, we got 55% here. It's getting close to being ready. Let's check out our sheep, see how they're doing. Good on food. 118 liters of wool. Was that the same amount of wool we started with in the morning? I think it might have been 113. Anyway, wool there. Going good. 152 pieces. That is the same amount we started with in the morning. 152 there. I think they lay more eggs the more they age, I believe. I think that's just how most animals work in this game. Is the older the older they get, I, th I believe to a certain point, they um, they will produce more and more whatever product they, that animal produces until they get to a certain age, maybe. 
289 liters of honey, so we're already fast approaching another pallet of honey. You know, that's one thing we could put down as another, um, another beehive. Uh, 288 liters of tomatoes. 431 liters of strawberries, so we're going to have another pallet probably by tomorrow morning. 169 liters of lettuce, still no pallet there. But I'm thinking we're probably going to have a pallet of lettuce before the end of the month here. Wind turbine going nuts. What is the weather like right now, anyway? Four mile an hour winds. We've got a good stint of rain coming up in the morning tomorrow. Three hours of eight mile an hour winds, and yeah. Things looking good. So let's go ahead and get some dinner, because I heard the din dinner bell a little while ago. I don't know when it was, but I'm sure it happened. So I'm gonna get some dinner, bathe, and get some get some sleep. Thanks for stopping by the homestead, everybody, and hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. Until then, have a great night, everyone.